All right, so uh, I want to welcome everybody. Again, this is K100 Radio. Uh, we are live right now. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning into the show. We really appreciate that. All right, this is one of our direct line interviews that we do over here at K100 Radio. This is when we give uh, independent artists a chance to just sit down and have a real live one-on-one conversation with them. We focus on the artists, uh, our guest. Uh, sometimes we don't always do artists. We've had producers on the show. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, uh, porn stars and politicians. You know what I'm saying? So we, we run the gamut, but our direct line interviews are just that. There's just a real live frank conversation with our particular guest uh, that we're having on the show tonight. And today we just happen to be talking uh, to two uh, really dope independent artists that's coming up, doing their thing. All right. We're going to wrap. We're going to welcome uh, in the first hour. We're going to have uh, DA class. We get ready to bring them on in the second. In the second hour, we got DB Cash. I know that was kind of ironic the way we ended up booking both of those with the DA and DB in the beginning. I know some people hit me up like, yo, are they a group or something? I was like, nah, but it just happened to, to go down that way. But uh, we're going to get ready to chop it up with these guys. Uh, we're gonna watch some videos if they got them available. We're gonna listen to some of their music and just give you guys some, uh, give these artists some exposure on our platform. That's what this is all about. Uh, uh, hopefully, in hopes uh, that they connect with somebody that's listening to uh, our broadcast and our show, looking at our live stream. Uh, maybe make a new fan, maybe make a new supporter. All right. So at the end of the day, with these direct line interviews, what we want to do is just have a direct conversation with the artist or whoever it is, a guest, and uh, just you know maybe bring you into their world. And hopefully, you guys can connect after the show. Uh, follow these guys on social media. Uh, download their music or listen to it and stream it however you want. You know what I mean? Support them on social media, like their uh, their posts and share their videos on YouTube if they got them. All right, and that's pretty much it, man. We just want to bridge the gap in between our listeners and the actual independent artists that we rock with over here at K100 Radio. So without that, uh, without uh, you know any more hesitation and pause, let's go ahead and get into it. You are tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop and R and B. All right. Yep. K100, you bastard. And first up, we rocking with the homie DA Class. DA Class, welcome to the show, bro. What's going on with your family? I ain't too much. All good. How about yourself? Man, nothing, man. Welcome to the broadcast, man. It's good to have you on the show. Welcome to the broadcast, man. I always like to just pause my background music. You know what I'm saying? And I just say, I want to, I, I let the artists introduce themselves. Uh, to our listening audience, man. So you got the floor. Go ahead and tell the people that's listening to K One's radio right now who they rock with, man. Break it down. Tell them who DA Class is. What's up, world? It's DA Class. I'm coming out there, Wall Town, Warner Robins, Georgia. Been doing music for quite some time. You know, currently I got a couple things in rotation. At the moment, I got that compliments mixtape, Money Can't Buy You Class. And a feature on Fiends, Money Made Me Do It, Volume 3. You know, I'm just trying to stay busy at the moment by working on this upcoming EP that's going to uh, drop on y'all later this year. All right. Dope stuff. Dope stuff. All right. Let's get into it. All right. K100, you bastards. We can bring the background music on now so we can make this thing official. So anyway, man, I really appreciate you rocking with us, man, and uh, coming through, man. First of all, uh, how'd you hear about k one Radio, man? What made you want to rock with us and uh, do this direct line interview? Tell us about that first. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been checking y'all out on the net. You know, y'all got a few things pumping on the on the IG and uh, a couple of things I've seen, like on Reverb Nation, these other spotlights where uh, artists, independent artists, can kind of do their thing. You know, and I kind of seen how you how you move and how you uh, got with other artists and how you interview. I said, you know, that'd be some dope shit for me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be a real good look. You know. Right, exactly, man. Well, first of all, I just, again, I want to welcome you to the show, and uh, we appreciate the artists that we uh, that do the interviews and support the platform. Uh, we built this, man, you know, just so uh, independent artists can have a really viable, dope platform uh, that they can do interviews and uh, conduct themselves professionally and give us their story, man. So let's go ahead and jump into your story, man. You know, now Warner Robbins, if you, I, I Warner Robbins, uh, a little bit past making down in kind of South Georgia. Uh, I've been there uh, a couple of times. Right. I actually had uh, it's a it was a it's a military base down there that, uh, that I had a friend of mine uh, that was a real close friend of mine. Uh, he was down there. He would come up to Atlanta all the time. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, what, uh, what branch of the military, but he was stationed down there. And uh, but he was in the music industry. And he would like drive up here all the time, man. Like after he got off his shift and come up here and hit the stages and rock the mics and everything, man. But it's not too far. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a drive. But tell us about that grind down there in that particular part of the region, man. South Georgia, Warner Robins, making all that stuff. What? Tell me about how it, how it, how is it to be an independent artist down in that region, man, trying to put out music, you know what I'm saying, and trying to get the people to buy into what you got going on? You know, basically, you know, you got a lot of artists trying to do their thing, you know. Um, it's really not a large platform for a lot of DJs, you know, 
uh, to play your record, you know, like a big up market like Atlanta, you know, you got your slamming the jammies or whatever. Uh, uh-huh. And we only talking in past years, you know, right now it's getting a little bit better, but uh, more, it's just more like a regular grind right now, like everybody else, like blasting social media, right. uh, trying to get your feeds, trying to get your views on your, on your YouTube. So, you know, it's just pretty much kind of like everybody doing the same thing but right. you know like in Atlanta you got your strip club you can go up there <laughs> on your Wednesday or your Thursday <laughs> right, get true. seen you know making making got a little spot where you go up there and do your thing so it's kind of is 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 not as large it's not as as large market as like in Atlanta or New York or something like that but right. it's getting there slowly but surely you know well I, I think the one thing one thing I always I, I always commend and respect the artists that grind in these in, in the small markets uh, because you know down there everybody knows you like up in one thing about Atlanta Atlanta is so big that you can just pretty much make up your whole story lie about it you know what I'm saying nobody I mean some people fact check some people don't some people most people really don't care uh, because they're focused on the craft a little bit more up here uh, and just the connections and, and, and the business and the business side but when you're in a small town like Warner Robins uh, where a lot of people may know you, but the most people that you're gonna perform in front of or whatever you grew up with them, you know, it's kind of like um, it's, it's a little bit different. You got to move a little bit different. So just explain that to me. And then, and if you can't just when, when you're in a, when you're in a city like that, I know you guys are using social media, and thank God for the internet now, so you guys can get your get your music out there uh, on a global level just from being right there. But when you are performing and you seeing the same people that you rock with back in the day, and you see the same people in the hoods and that you, in the same streets that you stroll through every day. That connection that you make with them as an independent artist. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, more or less, um, and I only can speak for my story. Mm-hmm. And my story is uh, I've done things bigger than just one Robin. Right. Um, I've been in Savannah. I've been in Atlanta. Um, you know, and that's a different type of feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was different. You know, as far as doing the independent, running an independent studio, right? Uh, having artists coming in, doing promotions with club, bringing industry acts in. So I got to see uh, and experience something that a lot of guys in one Robins didn't get. You know, when it's a small town like that, mm-hmm. pretty much you would have to branch out because it's one of those things that uh, I ain't, I ain't going to pretty much discuss on hate. But everybody want to be that guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be the first to do this or be the first to do that. So you got a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Your, 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 your vibe will get killed real quick because, okay, you put a hot mixtape out. Boom, right. And it's like, right. okay, that's all right. But listen to my stuff. You know, right, you know, right, just exactly. Saying, hey, just listen to the music. Just listen to the music. Let the people choose. And that's what it should be based on anyway, you know. My opinion, your opinion really doesn't matter. Let let your audience or let your fan base make that decision, you know? Absolutely. I love that answer because, you know, oftentimes, uh, now, don't get me wrong, it's pretty much kind of sort of my responsibility uh, over here at K1's radio uh, to talk that shit. I, I, I'm I in a position where I have to give my opinion on music, give my opinion on industry news, whatever, whatever. You know, that's part of our platform. We're, we're technically a media platform, even though, I don't like to be classified as media. I have to face the fact that it is what it is. We are what we are. Can't take it. We can't. We can't separate ourselves like that. But we do have to address uh, a little bit of industry stuff. We talk about beefs and music and releases and stuff. Uh, so we do that here. But I understand totally what you're saying when you're saying let the music, uh, let the people choose. With that being said, what do you feel about personally? Now this is this is a personal question of again. You just you just said let the people choose. So this is just you now. I'm just asking you, DA class. What do you feel about? Okay. What do you feel about the industry, right? You feel me? Like where the where the game is at right now with artists that they are showing uh, the love to the, the the platforms. You know uh, what they're playing on the radio down in your region. How do you feel about it as an independent artist? What do you see? Do you feel like right now uh, the the game is going in a in a direction that you like as far as what artists get the shot, what artists are being highlighted, or do you feel like the game is full of a lot of shit that you're just not really rocking with. I want to hear your honest opinion on that. Well, in my opinion, it's filled with a lot of shit I ain't rocking with. <laughs> um, now, in comparison, <laughs> in comparison, <laughs> in comparison, uh-huh. I'll compare it to, like, 
late 80s, 90s bass music mm-hmm. or, or like the Two Live Crew or stuff like that in the trap music. It's basically, to me, it's club music. Yeah. Okay? And it's good for the club. You know what I'm saying? It's good for that vibe. Got a nice beat. You know, the chicks dig it. They dance to it. The strippers dance to it. That's cool, you know. But far as, like, that music wasn't played on the radio like that. You know, you, you had more of your hip-hop. You had more, of like, real records. It wasn't about a dance record, mm-hmm. you know. So it's just everything, everything is so, we got to be lit. We got to be fucked up all the time and high and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's really not, you know, I, I'm not going to even get into the propaganda thing. But, you know, it's all about what I guess the media want to push at the time. So, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of shit that they playing, let me, let me, let me, I let can't me. get with it. Like, I, I, it's interesting that you said that because you said the media want to push. And, and I, I listen. I, I, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a weird space when it comes to K100 Radio because of the reason that I built the platform, and then like it's, it's hard to argue with something like that statement that you just said. Like you just said, it's, uh, it's what the media want to push. But then you got to, you, you got to sit back and look at it from my seat right here at K100 Radio, and I say, well, technically I'm the fucking media, and I don't necessarily like a, a lot of that shit either. And we don't play everything. We don't play a lot of that stuff either. So, I, w- I would say to you, what do you, what do you, what do you say about this? Just the same way that people choose the music that they like da class i would say to you back in response to that is people choose the um the platforms that they um support like like shout out to the people that's watching us right now on my social media uh we got a couple people checking in on instagram live fatty 40 ish kirk too cold uh i see a couple people checking us out over here on the uh facebook live feed like if people choose to choose choose to tune in to k1 radio and support this platform we'll, we're only going to get as big as people allow us just like just like with artists like artists are only going to get as big as the, the stuff people support so let me ask you this question do you think it's the people it's on the people because you're saying you don't like a lot of stuff that's coming out here and you said the media's propaganda but how much of that is, is is put on your fellow brother and sister or your fellow hip-hop fan how much of that are you going to put on them as an well, artist i'm I'm not going to put that much on them because, you know, you, you got platforms like podcasts, you got your internet radio, you got your satellite radio. Uh-huh. Most people that bump that are going to be your real enthusiasts right there, your real hip-hop, your real one that's to the real music. I was basically saying people that just listen to regular radio, hop in their car, uh-huh. whatever, whatever, dot nine on their radio station, and there it is. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really listening to CDs and now you listening to their iPods and I listen to their telephones or whatever, Apple Music or whatever. Those, that audience, that core audience right there. Because, you know, right. right now, shit, they ain't even playing videos no more like they used to. You know, so <laughs> it's just yeah. like... Yeah, they do. Because everybody, got, everybody got YouTube, though. Like, it's like everybody, everybody's on demand. Like, everybody's like, yo, I mean... But nobody has time to sit and wait for Rhapsody to come on at four o'clock every day. When all they gotta do is whip their phone out and watch the video after the fact. On demand is the future. Right. It's like it's like with this video. It's like with this live stream. You know, we, we got a couple of people watching or whatever. But then when we post up the recording, you know, depending on your grind and whatever, you know, you can have another two, three hundred people watch it after the fact when they really get home off work. So we understand that 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 facet of it. But it's just interesting that you would say that. I I, I think a lot of this stuff is is kind of on. I, I I put equal. I don't even want to say blame. It just is what it is with the artist, the music, the music the artist makes, the people that support it, the outlets that what the outlets support. It's like all the trifecta. It's like everybody's just we're at where we're at because where we're at. I don't know, but I don't, I want to pivot because I got to make sure we got time to get into this damn music. All right, this is K100 Radio. Right. You are tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop and R and B. Right. K100, you bastards. K-100, you bastards. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, buddy, for tuning into the show. We are live right now, man. We're rocking with the homie DA Class, all right? Representing, he said, what'd you call it? Wotown? Warner Robins? Is that what you called it? Wotown. Wotown. Yes, sir. I never heard that. I never heard Warner Robins called Wotown. I've been in Georgia for 20 some years. Uh, I know I know, Macon is Mac Town, but I, did, I, know, I didn't know they called Warner Robins Wotown. I learned something new today. All right, let me get my dialect up. Yeah. My South Georgia dialect up. All right. <laughs> all right so we're gonna get ready to get into this music man i know you got uh first of all tell us about your grind like how much music do you have out uh you know do you have some mixtapes out you have some singles out you got albums out uh how much music have you released so far as an independent artist uh a lot um 
Yeah. On my end, uh, I probably got about three or four projects right now that I got ready to drop. Right. Um, I've done work for others uh, independently, uh, other artists doing production and stuff like that. So really, this this go round is pretty much I'm just focusing on myself, mm-hmm. uh, not really just doing uh, one-on-one with artists and recording and making beats because, you know, that, that shit is a hassle. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just focusing all my energies on what I got going on right now, and that's that upcoming EP I'm about to drop later this year, and it's going to be nasty. All right. We can ready to check out some of this music. This is k one Your Radio. This is a direct line interview on k one Your Radio. This is where we give independent artists uh, uh, a free live 30-minute one-on-one direct line conversation. Uh, we play some of the music if they have videos. If you're on our Facebook live stream and the artist has videos available, we'll run a video. Uh, today, we just got some music. We're just rocking with the, the audio right now. We're just rocking with DA Class and what you're hearing in your headphones and make your head nod right now. We're going to get those visuals up later uh, when you post those up and we'll rock with them. Uh, make sure if you like some of this music, we're getting ready to play. You follow the artist on social media and we'll give all that contact information out. Uh, before we get ready to roll up out of here uh so we got these two songs right here we got uh a song called og or a player and we got unbreakable man i'm gonna let you decide da class we got a couple people listening all right so uh you're gonna pick which one of these joints uh is gonna be your introduction to the people that's checking us out right here on cable 100 radio which one we rocking with folks we rocking with that og or player first all right tell me about this record man what we about to get into here it's, 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 it's real player. It's, it's, a, it's a cool record, you know. Some shit talking, you know. It's just <laughs> something real southern. Uh, All right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you a player or OG, you know what I'm saying, doing your thing or whatever, you can grow to it, you know, right. just for niggas like me, you know, or whatever, you know. Right, right. All right. I appreciate everybody that's rocking with us on the live feeds and stuff, man. Really appreciate your support for these independent artists, man. Like, any eyes and ears that we get on these independent artists is always a plus. Uh, this is something that if you want to uh, get with us uh, as far as K1's Radio and interested in doing one of these direct line interviews, just hit our website, K1'sRadio.com, and go to the uh, ads and promo page, all right? And just uh, contact us about that. And that's where you go. All right, so we're getting ready to jump into this first joint, DA Class, OG or a player, all right? Representing that Woe Town. You know the drill. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip hop and R&B. Gang, bitch. K100, you bastards. A nigga for his hands like his hands like hands like. OG on a player, that's so player, making all that damn money. Tell him what the plan like. It must be nice. You know the gang, bitch. Gang, bitch. That's why a nigga for his hands like his hands like. OG or a player, that's so player, making all that damn money. Tell them what the plan. Looking through my telescope, the brightest constellation is me. Contemplating all the places to be. Is it clubbing? I think not. Better yet, make a sports bar. Then a play five stars. My made up part. Made the fit for fear to see your rock. AC blowing windows, draw some polo tops. You play the drops, that's why my goosey images is called some no. Goosey's wizard of boss. I just sit back, do my job. Rotate, steering wheel, head nodding, feeling knock. I'm dead, fresh, so get the chalk. Check the lean, the one I want. Better things, motion hard, rub me wrong. Skin, I'm soft. Bitches like, oh, he raw. Cause you bitches don't he y'all. Flipping figures, thumbs get so Race volume on Shalimar. Shake value ripping down. Watch me take niggas' teams apart when real focus makes it small. See a flicker, it's more than spark. It's spark. You know the game, bitch, game, bitch. That's why a nigga fold his hands like his hands, like hands, like OG or a player. That's so player, making all that damn money. Tell him what the plan, like it must be nice. You know the game, bitch, game, bitch. That's why a nigga fold his hands like his hands, like hands, like. OG or a player, that's so clear. Make it all that damn money. Tell them what the plan. Tell them what the plan. This be your symphony and I be the maestro. Like Barry White, my serenades conduct the freak show. 
diamond rocks make it prisms on the rear view. I do the best, not the less. So what they come to do? I hit the flex, night vision, and corny girl. I be the business, don't look cause they just be foreign us. The frontier is wide open for the come, boy. I can play players shit, I ain't so home, boy. Hit the dash, watch the jump like a running move. Anything goes to back, so you can get hit with some juice. Instant satisfaction, relaxing on parlay. The sweetest thing on work, be so be melting marmalade. Fuck front and playing games, I want my money straight. Stack it up, make that bitch ruffle like some paper plates. Plates. You know the game, bitch. Game, bitch. That's why a nigga fold his hands like his hands like hands like OG or a player. That's so clear. Make it all that damn money. Tell them what the plan like. It must be nice. You know the game, bitch. Game, bitch. That's why you a are tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop like and R&B. K100, you bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K1 to the radio, man. That shit was extra player. I don't know. It was something about it. It had a little, it had a little UGK-ish feel to it. Dare I say a little, a little little Pipsy in there somewhere. You know what I'm talking about? I just felt a little bit of swag of it. I don't want to disrespect the guy, the Don, the Don Pimp. I'm just saying. I just felt it, it gave me that. It gave me a little bit of that feel right there. Your voice, uh, your cadence, you know what I'm saying? The, the production that you choose to rap on. Just do me in the mind of them a little bit. Don't y'all get crazy and stuff. Call me disrespectful. I'm just saying. All right? Uh, but that's kind of what it put me in the mood in. All right? Uh, we rocks with that one. That was dope. You got a uh, couple people over here rocking with it, man, over here. Shout out to the people that's checking us out on the uh, Instagram live. Um, you know, you feel me? Some people are rocking with it. So, uh, you know, shout out to everybody that's watching right now and people that was clicking the hearts and stuff and showing some love, man. Big ups to them. Uh, if you wanted to call into the show and uh, if you're listening right now you support DA Class, uh, you want to give them a shout out live on the air. You can always call into our switchboard when we live or when we're doing our um, direct line interviews. All right. 347-934-0966. That's the number to dial into the show. If you're watching on Facebook, it's going across your screen right there at the bottom. All right. 347-934-0966. You can always call in and, uh, you know, give a, a shout out to the artist. You know what I'm saying? Show them some love. If you rock with them, if you support them right now. You know what I mean? All right. So let's go on to this next joint, man, because we got about, what, a couple minutes left. So we want to make sure we get this music in. That's what we're really here for. All right, so tell me about this next one that we got, DA Class. It's called Unbreakable. Yeah, Unbreakable, it, it's a joint, you know what I'm saying, basically. You, go, you got your ups and downs in life or whatever, you know, and you just pull through the shit and, you know, just stay strong and, you know, consistent in what you're doing, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And, and it ain't, don't let nothing get in your way. You get a wrinkle in the road, just iron and shit out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's it. That's all you got to do, man. We're going to check this next joint out, man. Again, we rocking right now. We live with DA Class uh, right here on K1 Radio. This is a direct line interview. All right, this is our thirty-minute segment that we do with our uh, special guests. Oftentimes, it's independent artists. That's what this platform was actually built for to show some love and support to the indies. All right, so we really appreciate you guys for uh, watching these live streams. And if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, if you're listening to this podcast style on our SoundCloud page, uh, make sure you follow and subscribe accordingly. And then find the artist if you're rocking with them like that. Find their YouTube page, find their SoundCloud page, follow and like, subscribe, and all that stuff, man. All right, so that's what we're doing over here. We show some love to these independent artists, and I guess it's DA Class. This joint is called Unbreakable. Let's check it out. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. K100, you bastards! Huh? 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 Pump your brakes, I'm pushing weight like gyms and flight delays. Techniques, concise instructions, how to kill a mocking chain. Fuck niggas, be on that bandwagon, biting play shit. And life a dog, cause I was knocking those out of place. Blocking motherfuckers, wanna do my thing, they in and way, they enemies. Can't pose as friend of me, that's bullshit anyway. It's epic, how I said it, more lessons than finessing. DA class is not an acronym, just ran it for investment. Bitch, riding on a jock, get your chaps with it. Check it, come as miracle or blessing. This ain't physically aggressive, I'm just lyrically impressive. Put the jelly on the dressing, I'm a bully on the instrumental, pitching imperfection. Got more cash than you dickheads. Tricking 
fucking on these bitches I'm just flipping on these stickers Holding rank like it's kinetic I'm unmakeable, unbreakable, bitch Don't you run so miraculous Be shining on these niggas like the sun Get up off the dick So disrespectful, don't act this cunt This is wishful thinking on the echelon Way beyond I'm unmakeable, unbreakable, bitch Don't you run so miraculous Be shining on these niggas like the sun Get up off the dick So disrespectful, don't act this cunt This is wishful thinking on the echelon Way beyond Push limits, no compressors, I for my own endeavors Spit lines, that architecture smooth as butter leather Head in the clouds, overseer the above on other levels Eat your heart, I bitch, stakes inside, keep an edge of breakfast Pledge to get your sorrow step and get your torso severed Niggas complaining, inside out be home as ever Push goals, got gold, bitch, I shine forever Get your diamonds, the clarity is pristine Wrong as fuck, since I was 16 Toe with dub, stage, and my screens High screens, visual high beam For trying to win, just gather up the right team You go boy, filter out the whole noise Rather the ladder, giving success, that's bringing more joy Dropping the fire on your brain, scorching them decoys Got bitches bowing with fellatio, no D I'm unmakeable, unbreakable, bitch Don't you run so miraculous Be shining on these niggas like the sun Get up off the dick So disrespectful, don't act this cunt This is wishful thinking on the echelon Way beyond I'm unmakeable, unbreakable, bitch Don't you run so miraculous Be shining on these niggas like the sun Get up off the dick So disrespectful, don't act this cunt This is wishful thinking on the echelon Way beyond Fuck you talking to me I'm running shit. It's going down. Here's another exclusive interview on K100 Radio. K100, you bastard. Yeah. All right. DA Flash, displaying those bars. Right, right, quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he, he laid back on it a little bit on that first one. That was more player. That was more laid back in the cut, but I was fucking with that one. But then he came out, spin shit. Somebody was, you know, you got a, you got a lot of people over here on the Instagram live feed. Uh, that's, that's fucking with you, fam. So uh, big ups to those people over there checking us out, man. Before we get ready to roll up out of here, obviously, we want to make sure these, these people can connect with you. If they want to check out your music, if they want to follow you on social media, if they want to uh, connect you know, with your YouTube or your SoundCloud or whatever, uh, go ahead and give out, uh, first of all, your website and uh, social media information for the people real quick. Yeah, you can check me out on IG at d.a.class. You can hit me up on SoundCloud at I Drop Class. You can hit me up on Twitter at I Drop Class. I Drop Class. All right. Make sure you holler at the homie. A lot of dope music, dog, that you had right there. We rocking with it, man. Um, what, what about the uh, platforms? Uh, is your music on like a Spotify? Like, how, how do how do you want people to uh, try to get to the music and consume it? Well, right now, you can get it off of uh, datpiff.com, look up d.a.class, and uh, they, it's open for download, you know, for our streaming. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to put my streaming stuff out probably later this year when I drop the EP. So, you know, definitely, if anybody keep up with me, keep up with me on the Twitter, keep up with me on the IG, and, you know, I drop shit weekly, daily sometimes. And just, you know, keep people informed that way for the meantime. All right. And it's DA class with a D. With a D like dog. DA class. Yeah. D, DA class. If you're on our uh, Instagram, uh, you can find this uh, post that we did for him. We just posted it right before we started the show. So it should be easy to connect with him on Instagram. Just go look at our page and look at the, uh, the last two posts we did before the show went live. All right, man. So, look, I appreciate you. Uh, you know, one question, though, since you said you hadn't started your streaming yet, I, I always ask this about artists. We got about like two or three more minutes. Um, <clears throat> how do you feel about the way people consume music in your location? Like, do you do you still press up CDs? And like, if you do still press up CDs, do do you actually move the CDs? I always ask artists in uh, the more rural areas this question because I'm I'm where I'm at right here. I don't I don't use CDs anymore, and there's still an ongoing debate about how much life uh, do CDs have. Um, you know, in them, you know, as far as being a viable platform, do you still press up CDs? Would you still suggest it uh, to people down there in Warner Robins if they coming through? Let's say somebody gets booked for a show down there. All right, uh, would you tell them to bring some CDs with them? Will people actually buy them? Do people still ride around listening to CDs, or is everybody streaming down there? How do they consume their music in, in your region? Pretty much streaming is pretty much the way everything is going these days. You know, uh, pretty much. You bump into somebody or whatever, check it out. You tell them, uh, you know, IG or whatever, SoundCloud. And, you know, pretty much 
it's pretty much up to the artist on how they promote. You know, they, there's so many ads that you can buy on social media now, you know what I'm saying? Even promote your music that I don't really see the purpose of you even pressing a CD unless you just wanted something tangible right. just to give somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like a novelty item to a DJ say, hey, here's a CD with a cover on it, you know? But right. far as that would just be a promotional item, you know? Uh huh. I just want to know what you thought about it. You feel what I'm saying? I always ask the independent artists uh, when they come through on K100 Radio, you know, what do you think about this particular uh, medium or whatever? Uh, so it's, it's, it's odd because oftentimes when we talk to people in smaller markets like yours, they say, man, I still fuck with CDs. People still buy CDs. People still riding around in their box Chevys and shit listening to them. You feel what I'm saying? And then I meet people and they be like, man, fuck them CDs. You know what I'm saying? Nobody riding around with no book. Where the ox core that nigga? You know what I'm saying? So we just want to make sure we get clarity when we talk to people in all these different regions. All right, man, we got to get ready for our next interview, man. Uh, really dope interview. I uh, appreciate you for rocking with us, man. Of course, you know, this will be available on YouTube and SoundCloud uh, here shortly after we get done within the next 24 hours. So if you missed any parts of this interview on K100 Radio with the homie DA Class, make sure you go check it out. Support the artist. Find the music. Art. At the very least, it don't even cost you no money, man. Uh, artists need all the followers they can get. They need everybody sharing links. They need people subscribing to their channels. Uh, then the people add them to their playlist on Spotify's, uh, all that shit, man. Liking their page, all that shit matters. Labels actually care about that shit, no matter what people tell you. And the real shit, not the bought shit. So if you want to support an artist, you ain't always got to skin down and uh, you know and, 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 and buy a song or buy uh, buy a merch. You know, there's a lot of ways you can support an artist in 2018 for free. So if you fuck with these uh, artists, man, make sure you uh, show them some love. All right, DA class, it was good rocking with you, fam. All right. All right, thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. Don't go nowhere. Y'all pause. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip hop and R&B. All right. K100, you best. Let me check my phone line and see if my next guest is on deck. All right. Hold on real quick. This might be him right here. Yo, DB Cash. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here. All right, man. You ready, man? You ready to rock and roll? I'm ready, man. I'll be honest with you, man. I'm ready. I won't lie. I'm ready. (laughs) All right. And we got a visual for this guy right here, so he's on deck. You know what I'm saying?